Now today we are going to learn a new topic. Uh, we will try to find out SOP and POS expression from a given truth tell. Fine. We know that whenever an SOP and POS expression is given to us, we can represent that in a truth tell. Now imagine the truth table is given to you and you have been asked to find out what is the respective POS or SOP. Then how to do it? We will learn that. So let us say we are given a truth table like this. We have been told that a function f x y, let's say two variables only, f x and y gives you this truth table. What truth table? Like this, f x y. Right? So when it was 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, and 1, 0. These four combinations are possible. Imagine it is given that when it was 0, 0, it was 0. When it is 1, 1, it was 1. When it is 0, 1, it was again 0. And when it is 1, 0, it is 1. This truth table will be given to you in the question. On the basis of this truth table, what we have to do, we have to find out the POS or SOP. So what is the SOP? If we are given this, then who is the SOP? The SOP expression would be, look at this, we know that in the truth table to find out SOP, you consider the output values which are 1. Okay? You consider the output values which are 1 for SOP expressions. So if it is 1, look at the corresponding input values. Look at this, 1 and 1. In SOP, 1 means direct. 0 means complemented. So 1 and 1 means both are direct. So that means this will be x dot y. And another 1, one is, 1 is there. Okay. With respect to this output value 1, if I look into the input values, I can see x is equal to 1 and y equal to 0. That means x is x and y is y complement. So if we write x dot y complement, is it looking like a SOP? Yes, it is looking like SOP. So this will be the required SOP expression. Fine. Now imagine with the same truth table, we have been told to find out the equivalent, the, the POS expression. Find out the POS expression. The expression gives you this truth table. Fine. The POS means I have to look for the output values which are zeros. That is this to look into. And I will look into the corresponding input values. In POS, what happens? We look for the output values which are zeros, that is these two I will look into. In their respective input values, if the variable is carrying a value 0, that means he is direct. And if the variable is carrying a value 1, he is complemented. Since you consider the zero output values, here 0 will be direct and 1 will be complemented. So with respect to this zero value, output value, in the input value x equal to 0, y equal to 0 means so both are in the direct form. That means it will be, if we write the POS, it will be x plus y. Why x plus y? Because I have to put it in the POS form, product of sums, right? So dot, here we also get a 0. This, this basically belongs to x equal to 0 and y equal to 1. That means x equal to 0 means x should be direct and y equal to 1 means y should be complemented. So it should be x plus y. So in the question you can be given a truth table and they can ask you uh, find out the equivalent or find out the SOP and the uh, POS expression. What is the POS and SOP expression you can derive from this truth table. Fine. I am doing another problem like this. You will see to this. Say now I have given you three variables. Okay? I have given you three variables. I told you f, x, y, z. Right? And the truth thing is like this x, y, z, and the value f. Right? We know the combinations how to make 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. Now with two ones and a zero. Two ones and a zero. And now two zeros and a one. Two zeros and a one. 
Now it's given that F basically is like this, say this is 1, this is say 0, this is 1, this is 1 and this is 1. The rest of all that say zeros. Now I have been told to find out the equivalent EOS or SOP. So what will be my SOP first? What will be my SOP? SOP F X Y Z. So let us write what is that? First of all for SOP I will look for the input value, output values which are 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4. That means when I will write the SOP expression there should be 4 terms because there are 4 ones. Similarly, if I do EOS, look at this, I will consider the zero output values. So I will get one, two, three, four times. For POS also, I will get four times for this particular truth table. Now, with respect to this one, look at this carefully. It is SOP. So I consider the output values which are one. In the respective input values, if they are one, that means they are direct. So x, y, z. So I will get x dot y dot z plus. Second one is look at this, this one, 1, 1, 0. So it should be x, y, and 0 means z complement. So x dot y dot z complement. Now next one, 0, 1, 1. So x complement, y, z. x complement, y, z. And the last one, look at this, x, y complement, and z. So x, y complement. So that will be the required SOP. And what will be the POS? POS means we will look for the output values which are zeros, 1, 2, 3 and this 4. So if we vary the, the POS expression from this, then this 0, here POS 0 means direct, remember this. So 0 output value, this belongs to 0, 0, 0, that means x plus y plus z. So it will be x plus y plus z dot. Second one, x, 0 value means direct x plus y plus 1 means complement, so z complement. x plus y plus z complement. x plus y plus z complement dot. Next one, x complement, 1 means x complement plus y plus z plus y plus z. And the fourth one, and the last one, is x, y complement, z. So it will be x plus y complement plus z. Since it is POS, since it is POS, that's why I have to write it like a POS. That means every term should be added to each other. Like the variables should be added to each other in every term. And then the product of them will be the required POS. I hope you have understood. I will give you some problems like this so that you are able to solve. Fine. This particular question can also come in this form. In this way, sometimes it is also given. Fine. I am just reading the question, just writing the question here so that you are able to understand. Say so it is given a Boolean expression. Pay attention to this carefully. A Boolean expression f x, y, z, okay, say it gives a value 1 when x equal to 1, y equal to 1, z equal to 1, okay, when x equal to 0, y equal to 1, z equal to 0, when x equal to uh, 1, z, y equal to 0, z equal to 0, and when x equal to 0, y equal to 0, z equal to 1. In these four cases it gives 1 and it gives 0 and it gives 0 in all other cases, in rest. That means I have to make truth table by myself also here. They have given me very clearly that f x y z is the expression. It will give you a value 1, output value will be 1. When x equal to 1, y equal to 1, z equal to 1. When x equal to 0, y equal to 1, z equal to 0. And in these two cases, that means there are four cases where we get the output value 1. So here I have to make out first the truth table. 
have been told to get this. This gives one. So I'll write one. This gives one. Zero, one, zero. So where is zero, one, zero? Find out. Zero, one, zero. So this is one. Okay. Third one is one, zero, zero. For one, zero, zero combination also we get out of the one. One, zero, zero. That means this one. We get one. And for zero, zero, one. Zero, zero, one is this one. So here we get one. And it says it gives zero in this expression, gives zero. Or the value of the expression is zero in the rest. In rest means in all other cases. So in all other cases it is zero in the seven right zero here. That is how I have to make the truth table. And then I have to find out the P of S or S of whatever is asked. If it is S of P, okay, then we will write that x, y, z equal to obviously which are basically ones, so it will be x, y, z. Plus, this will be x complement, y complement, z, x complement, y complement, z. This would be x, y complement, z complement, x, y complement, z complement. And this would be x complement, y, and z complement. So similarly, you can find out the POS also. For POS, you take the zero output values and then accordingly you can find out. So the question can be given in this format also. I will write it, I will give such examples in my notes tonight. Okay. Next topic which we will do, we will not be able to complete this topic, I will just give you an introduction. Then the next topic of Boolean algebra, the last one basically, is called logic gets. Okay logic gets. What are the logic gets? Logic gets are some circuit diagrams basically. Okay. Some circuit diagrams which are imaginary things and these circuit diagrams are used basically to represent various kinds of Boolean expression. Okay. So get is basically a small electrical circuit. That circuit will be used to generate various kinds of Boolean output. For example, a Boolean output is like x plus xy complement. So this is the Boolean output, an expression basically. A Boolean expression means a Boolean output basically. So basically we will have to use these gates to draw some circuit diagram. Gate itself is a circuit and how to use this thing in a circuit, electrical circuit that we will see to represent a Boolean expression. That is what we have to learn. Okay. So we have to remember there are three basic gates. These are called basic gates. What are the basic gates? One is called NOT gate. Okay, who is the NOT gate? NOT gate is like this. It's, a, it's like this. Fine, a triangle and a small circle at the tip of it. What happens here if you pass a current x, then from this end you get the current x complement. Fine. Similarly, if you pass basically a current x complement, then you get x. Okay? So this basically circuit is used to be present to reverse a current. Similarly, there is one get called OR get. OR operator, you know, who is OR operator? Plus is the OR operator. Fine. So this particular get will always, first of all, OR get looks like this. It's a triangle, but its base is slightly carved like this, right? If you pass two currents in it, A and B, then you will get the output A plus B from the other end. Input is A plus A and B, output is A plus B. So it represents basically the OR operator. That's why it is called OR gate. Now like this one, here we cannot have two different inputs. This, this NOT gate is supposed to be working with only one input. But OR get requires two in minimum of two. Fine. Now what the question arises if we pass more than one current. Like this is my OR get. And I pass the current A, another current B, another current C, another current B. Then obviously from this end I will get A plus B plus C plus B. This expression I will get. Okay. Whatever is the value of this expression, that current I will get from the other end. And the last part which I will tell you today 
is called and bracket and operator is dot we know that this is like a like something it looks like this fine right? and if you pass two currents like a and b this also requires minimum of two uh, currents to be passed in order to work it cannot work on a single variable like this so here the output will be a dot b and exactly like or operator the same thing will happen if you pass three currents for example this is your or get okay if you pass currents a b c three currents you are going to get an output a dot b dot c that means in between the participating variables dot operator will come as an output so just remember these three basic gets I will tell you some more gets tomorrow and then we will make use of it in drawing various kinds of circuit diagrams to represent a boolean expression the circuit diagram which will be able to represent a boolean expression